Hey everybody, I'm Puds. Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. If you've been a follower over on my Twitch channel for a while, you might remember I played this game a little bit over on Twitch back in like 20, like late 2020, I think it was, or like beginning of 2021. So like near the beginning of me uh, in my content creation journey. I, like many times, have uh, <laughs> not finished things. Apparently I got to chapter 10. I, oh yeah, Tw December 29 of 2020 is the last time I played this. I don't remember anything about this game, um, except for like there was a tentacle bit and I got really scared by painting. That's it. My goal is to finish this game. My goal is to finish games that I have started and just abandoned even though i really liked them uh boston 1924 edward pierce a veteran of the first world war drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills he is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor P uh, pierce must find a new qu case quickly or lose risk losing his license wow. if i am mad it is mercy May the gods, gods pity the man who is, who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. I was talking about this with Raz and I'm telling you, I've never read any of Lovecraft's books. I, I heard they were not fantastically written. That's a lot of, oh, Sharky. That's a lot of icks. Why the fuck are you that a shark is just in the pile of organs? What the hell? Come on, Pierce, you got this. God, I am fairly sure I remember my computer at the time was not able to handle this game. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Do I got subtitles on? Okay, subtitles are on. Let's do this. Ooh, lots of nasty. This is like a no. I thought that was a secret wall for a second. No, we're fine. Uh, to crouch, press B. I'm using a switch controller, so that's not the same thing. I'm locked in. Let me out. Where am I supposed to crawl to? Oh, here. <laughs> if it, maybe if I actually looked around, I'd find things. Uh, I'm guessing we're not supposed to go over there. Ooh, what's this? A lantern? Gimme. Gimme. You must light up some items to get them. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to steal something? Do I have a lantern button? I don't think I have a lantern yet. No. Okay. Oh! The lantern's literally right <laughs> It's right there. It's right fucking here. Okay, what's what's this item? Uh, it's a bolt cutter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Why can't we just use the boat? There's a boat. Let's fucking go. No, we have to go back into the spooky scary. That makes sense. That's logic. Sure, let's dive deeper into the cave of the unknown. All right. Get this, open that up, and we're good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate the way it sounds in my ears. Oh, God. That was... Oh, oh. That actually, like, made my neck uncomfortable. What the fuck? All right, cool. Is it on Orca? Aww. Shh, fucking hell. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh God, I'm getting like such bad sensory overload with this. Oh, 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 left trigger run. Okay, cool. What am I running from? Do I have a stamina bar? I don't remember her. Oh, I am literally like, my shoulders are up. I hate this. Oh, shit. Has already been written. The fuck? You got no holes! But perhaps you will attempt to 
changing your destiny. Ooh, tentacles. Oh god. Dude, he threw you like a rag doll. Oh no, I I'm good. <laughs> Oof. This game's gonna give me nausea. This game's nice though. It's tequila. You gotta watch out for the te tequila. It's a good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Ooh. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. When you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Uh, a good old story of blackmail? What'd you do? Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Well, red man. Can I change the radio? Or turn it off, that's an option too. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ooh. Phone time. Ooh, Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my night my memories at bay. Alcohol. But if I know that I know that if I stop the memories will return, one of these mornings I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I he again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Is it Katuru? Ooh. Oh yeah, there's a whole, like, skill tree thing. Oh god, mental trauma. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in, in the Minus and Argonne offense. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion American units that suffered ha heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades, without food or medical supplies. The, sur the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor. Ooh, bad combo to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Oh no. Apparently my sanity's stable though. Um, confident in your abilities and your cardison mind. You conduct your investigation with sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Not for long! Uh, dark water. Okay, I don't have any information on that. Um, inventory. A oh, lost battalion. Oh. Can I inspect it? Oh, that's... Okay, that's it. Knowledge. On a old case. Oh, I could actually look at other tabs. That wasn't up. Um, that was the thing that we just read, though. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh. Oh! No, don't have a drink. Don't, no, we're, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll, no more drinking. No more drinking. We're going sober. Hmm? That's correct. Y yeah, 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 what he said. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of Oh shit. Right. I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh. This is my personal information? <laughs> Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Okay, so what do each of these do? Spot hidden. So investigation. Investigation represents your investigating talents, improving the skill, increases your chance of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or object or a picking locks. Spot hidden represents your ability to have find hidden objects. Improve the skill, increases your chance of finding hidden objects. Um, an undiscoverable object will not appear in game. So even if you like don't like even if you know where items are in the game you won't be able to see it unless you have this level high enough um psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior 
increases your chance of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior. Um, prove this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts. Uh, improve the skill that increases your chance of determining the dosage of a drug or making a diagnosis or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Improves your skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence <laughs> during interaction discussions. Uh, Alexine, improve your skills, chance of convincing or manipulating. Ooh. I like the psychology one. Do investigation one, eloquency, and spot hidden. And then we'll do two occultism and then another one in eloquency and then I don't know exactly what medicine would be in use for yet so I'm just gonna go with investigation um and then we're gonna have that okay cool 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 how do I oh validate yeah Sure, I don't know what I'm fucking doing at this point, but it's fine. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Yeah. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those been cases worth it? Turning down cases. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still Oh. I'm coming. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> well, that's a warm welcome. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Hey, it's just, it's, a, it's my pheromones. They just reek about calling me alone. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Wow, you are just savage with that. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Can I not turn the camera? She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes, everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. Oh, shit. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you a have... A mystery is afoot. I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell it's me all these very spooky. That is that me? Oh, no, no, that's what Sarah. I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, I mean, technically, a rationality to follow, so that I may understand. I feel like all abstract <laughs> art is a work of madness in yes, a way, isn't it? Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. No. Uh. A warehouse on Darkwood. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Very small. Marriage on dock water. Uh, shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. The police report says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on domestic accident, but they nonetheless insisted on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? press cutting 
an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life with their only son, Simon. Okay. And then Simon and why whatever his name is are dead. All right. Examine the painting. Is this the tentacle the guy from earlier? On the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. But so, Mr. That's Pierce, reading a little bit too into it. Of these elements. Uh, blah 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 blah. Something that's not right with this story. My husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe how, there is how can you pick that up just from just accident. the painting and the article? I, you know what? It's a video game. <laughs> uh... You must tell me. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the Why meaning Why that particular painting? This. Didn't she do other paintings? So, why this one in particular? Um... Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Are there places like Darkwater in the, the real world? Dimensions. Warehouse. Like little islands off the keys of the keys, <laughs> the coast of New England. Your daughter could have been the sender. That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater, find Warehouse Thirty Six. <gasps> oh my God! I'm so sorry. Um, that's all I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. It's a hard to something's up. Sarah dies dies with her family in a house. Oh, they all did. Okay, Her they all died in the fire. Is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Oh, she Correct. sent it to him. And the rumors about her supposed folly, which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. All right. I like money. Take the case. I'll go to Darkwater. And look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. D Something's queer. What does that mean? <laughs> but it's not like I have a choice. I mean, something's queer, and it's, it's me. It's me. I'm sorry. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the Oof. end of the 19th century. Does that look like a monster on the second page, or is that a whale? Is this like a Rorkshire's test? Uh, Darkwater, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such native and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the wall walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but or both. 
Uh, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coasts of Ma Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Boston. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Boston Strangler ex escapes from the state mental ward? I, I don't think I remember that case. Prohibition! Ooh. I should get rid of all this stuff. Why? It makes your office look important. Or something like that. Alright, is there anything else I need to get here? No, we're gonna leave the alcohol. No alcohol I for why us. I still take these things. I take the... the... Doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would help put an end to the nightmares. For a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Oh, I can take them. Oh, wow. All right, anyway, well, okay, there's a lot of shit here. Uh, certificate of membership. I used to be an avid reader. Okay, so he, he is actually a well-read man. Learning of medicine. Dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all the illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. Hell yeah. Ooh, medicine. Oh god, wrong button. This button. Medicine progression. So I can find items in the world. The medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Oh. Maybe I should have put more of my character points into that. What are the cats doing? Jesus Christ. Um. Well, shit. Okay. Stephen Waters, businessman. Charles Hawkins, dead. Sarah Hawkins, dead. And Simon Hawkins, dead. Island of Uh, It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It's a small, inhospitable island whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs and shark. Sharp. Shark. Shark reefs. Shark reefs. Yeah, so it's. Got a picture of Sarah and Simon, but not of Charles. Hmm, very suspicious. Okay, and then we got all our stuff. Can I inspect this and then learn from it, or did it already give me the, the information? Okay. So we have to be on the lookout for items that. Oh, God, then that would have been really good for upping our hidden objects or uh, hidden stuff. To look for items. Damn it. I don't know. I'm gonna fuck this, up, this game up. I don't remember if this game has multiple endings or not. I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. The shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of dark water. Again, I'm surprised that this game is running so well. Focus Home Interactive presents. I'm really sure the the developers of this game too have also created like um what was the sinking city whatever game that was sinking city I do own and I still want to play um cyanide studios uh I want to play sinking city and that one I haven't seen like any gameplay of besides I know that you can go investigate shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, wow, wow. Gotta love that uh, scream out in the distance. 
Call of Cthulhu. Is, is it pronounced Cthulhu or Cthulhu? I'm pretty sure it's called... It, I've always grown up thinking it was Cthulhu, but I'm pretty sure it's actually pronounced Cthulhu. I'll probably get corrected at some point, it's fine. <laughs> Off we go. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. I I can help. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Oh, I'm not actually moving. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. I feel like the audio wife, can't Sarah. make up its mind uh, whether it wants to be quiet or loud. What a tragedy. Ooh, can I immediately open up you my diary now? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. What is Stranded Whale? The tavern or the actual Stranded Whale over there? As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Hell yeah. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. What's this over here? Is that a whale or an orca? Hey, Sullivan. Hmm. Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too long, Crabs! You can't do that. Wow. But this it's thing. A fish. It's. Fish. I mean, You've a fish is right. uh, understatement. Don't what you don't know. Yeah, man. For it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Dude, that's don't right. fuck with it. Little town's superstitions, I swear. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh, these you're totally out of your depth. I'm looking How do you ask about the warehouse? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't, or you don't want. To. You can't answer where the no, no, no. warehouse is. Those games, me. Now, please allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat. I mean. Oh, yeah. What would you guys do with it if you weren't gonna put it into the ocean again? Granted, I don't know. That's true. You don't. Ooh. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a. Oh, it's fresh. How did it? Oh, it probably was trying to run away from whatever it was killing it, and then it hopped up on the. The shore. Anyway. Yeah, dude. Isn't there something about sailors, how they're, like, extremely superstitious? What is this? Can I pick this up? No? Can I sit down? No. Lame. Uh, let's go get a drink, though. What is this? Oh, the prohibition. It's just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Is prohibition, like, actually ongoing right now? The 1940s was prohibition. This is a uh, very morbid, depressing tavern. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Dude, don't start shit in a fucking small town tavern! 
That was funny as fuck, though. Oh, hello there. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. So you should stop serving him? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me who was looking for it. Yet you served this man. And you can yeah. see he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland man. What the fuck? I walked in the man. door. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try well, and serve me you have a drink. <laughs> we'll see. Um... Yeah, let's order a drink. Told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? Only a small glass. No to a glass. Just a tiny glass. Tiny glass. Tiny glass. Only to create a rapport with you. You. I think we'll get along well. All right, now tell me about the place. This will affect your destiny. Should I have gone completely sober? <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, no prohibition. Find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Fair enough. Can you tell me about dark water? Uh, let me tell you about Sarah. We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then. Fair enough. I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Um, it's not speaking ill of it's true. Was it so terrible? The way I see it. The truth is really a question but Can of you, you can you guys quiet what down you over there? I'm trying to have a conversation. You, you keep yelling in my ears. After a bottle of whiskey. What? Um It's true that they were strange. Famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. Nah, in the 1940s, something. Said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I honestly probably would. I've got what I need. Anything get paint. No, like, can you not just go across my desk, please? Thank you. Um. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a yeah, tough time. but you hunted them out of existence. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Hmm. Um, I'm looking for Do Warehouse you know where 36. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why? Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Whoa. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um, yeah, That'd we're good. Now. Let's go talk to the hot chick in the corner, though. Hello there. I don't got flirting skills, but I think you're mighty fine. You stranger. You? <laughs> uh... Blah, 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 blah. She was early for the boy. Who can hold her liquor so confidently? 
What gives you the right to judge me? Uh, I was gonna fuck that up regardless. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I... okay. That wasn't gonna go well either way. That's fine. Alright. Oh, who old are you? Hmm. Nightmares. Oh, nice tattoos. Things tattoos? Voices whispering. We'll follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Dude, you look like a zombie. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No. The you talking about the Necronomicon? What's going on? Book, after all. Pure knowledge. Nimber Eorb. What does that mean? Dude, you are all kinds of fucked up, though. Hey, guys. Guys. Like I'm, song? No, I don't. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's T true. Fair enough. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Um. What brought of... whaling to an end? The, the whales? whales? Yeah, they fucking disappeared. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Hunted them the too quickly before they could the reproduce. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Uh, what's I've the never song? Heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Miraculous catch. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Oh. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. How do you know it was delicious? Good night. Were you Stay there in 1847? No, I don't think so. Uh, right behind me? Oh, this one? The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The... Cilia? Cilia returns to the port. That's the boat that we came in on. Uh, returns to port to save dark water from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Cilia, or what remains of it, returned to dark water port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship of the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the cetacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and part of it were hang parts of it were hanging off the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutrients benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Uh, warehouse for rent. Mr. Marx is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing. Uh, okay, it's just other random ads. Interesting, interesting. Miraculous catch. Oh, are we already in chapter two? Oh, damn, okay. Uh, we got to meet Roy. Oh, that's the bartender. And then the strand of wheel and everything. I hate having... Oh, I got one character point! <gasps> Shit. I can't put it into medicine or occultism because those require items. So, we should put that into hidden spot. Uh, because if we get hidden spot up, then... You can probably find items to up our occultism and medicine. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, our insanity didn't get too bad. That's good. I'm a doctor. What did he say? Um. My God. What are you guys talking about? I want to be. I want to be. Talked to. Oh. The girl doctor. Cold. 
she won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Mm -hmm. oh, girl doctor, eh? Well, that might be. All right, I think we're all done here. Uh, Filtroy, I think, is the farmer, or farmer, the fisher dude. Hello, you said you got papers? I like reading. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Uh, okay. The stuff? Are you headed out? No? Okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible, 1990, 1907, and a partial date, the rest of the document is blackened out. Who would want this information to be hidden? You? Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> uh, is there anything interesting in here? A souvenir from a more prosperous era. Uh, I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Oh my god. That is... Fishing equipment. Sad. Could do with some rust removal. Oh, wait, what's in here? Ooh, secrets? No, there, there's there's no secrets. Lame. I mainly so, just want to look for. Um... Used up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Wait, was the Scylla the one that we came in on, or did we just see that when we came in? I don't know. Hey, you got any books about medical or occult shit that I can steal? <gasps> Madison. This is the second volume. It teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Sweets. Sweets, sweets. Slowly, slowly progressing. Very nice. Uh, Big ass whale. You got no occult books, though? Can I go up these? No. Hello? What's this? A little candle. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Uh, this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Filter is poising, po poising, poison, posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Guessing that's him or uh, his ancestor? What a macabre souvenir. Oh, it's a leg. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's his his uh, ancestor then. That's cool though. Can I jump down from here? No, lame. Lame. All right. Let's go talk with Fitz Fitzroy. Fitz, 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 Fitzgerald. What's from up? here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I... Uh... Your documents are unreadable. The manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Mm, information's information. What did Charles Hawkins really Charles do for a living? Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Like, with alcohol? Um... Saw the killer I'm whale just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. 
Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Well, Killer whales killed it. don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. I don't know. The ocean is still something that we're we're still exploring, even in 2023. But there's some like scary ass shit down there. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, look photograph. at this. Take a look at this photograph. Of in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh, I saw it. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's oh an episode God. from our glorious I just past. fell off the fucking window, so... Go read so. the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. No, I read that. Uh... For Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. Oh shit. The warehouse is opposite the jet. Literally, so many people could have fucking just told me that, and they didn't. <laughs> Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? The Hawkins? Yeah, you it underestimate to the Hawkins me. Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Uh, alright, we're good. Way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Fair enough. <gasps> oh, I got another character point. Immediately, immediately in the hidden spot. Please and thank you. Wait, did I do it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, oh, hello there. Y'all looking spooky as fuck. Oh yeah, I can run, can't I? What the fuck was that? Oh no. Oh no. I have... Oh, I hate it! This means I'm gonna be hiding from shit! Uh, hello. you're going? Uh, to the warehouse? I Opa. thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? Vandals? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Um... Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Because I'm nice and we're on the same team. You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? No. Nah. Get it. I'm saying that you guys are cricket. <laughs> what uh, more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The it's... whole mansion went up in flames. The don't voice actor for... up there. It's dangerous. I'm sure I looked this up before. What do you mean by that? It's the voice actor for the, the detective in this. The size. same voice actor the in Vampire. Affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Cool. Is he a that shit. No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Voice actor. Um, Anthony Howell, and then who voices Vampire? Voice 
actor. Ah, it is Anthony Howe! Okay. <laughs> I could recognize my vampire daddy anywhere. I love vampire, by the way. That, like, unironically, that game is really bad that I love it. <laughs> Uh, another game that I unfortunately haven't finished because I have really bad ADHD. Shut up, leave me alone. But I still love it. It's it's terrible. It's so unfinished. Hell yeah, Anthony Howell. Uh, can we get into here anywhere? Ooh, maybe that way. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Ooh. Who is St. Brandon? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brandon, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. Oh. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? I'm investigating. I'm investigating. Found about the island. Um. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us like all townspeople. <laughs> why? Why are you getting Saint so Brandon, offended over a little thing? And fishermen like us, until those assholes defaced him. Uh, okay. Who are those guys Two over there? What are they guarding? The bootleggers, scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? From they drunkards? Have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. Ah, uh, so I could just go up there and go meow. Each other. Who is cat? This cat you mentioned. Is she their boss? Oh, that's oh, the hot lady at the bar, on, isn't it? We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Different kind of pussy. Uh, all right. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. My, I'm, I'm missing out on occult points if I don't talk to these guys. I really don't care to. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. Oh. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even, and don't go looking there. Where am I not supposed to be looking? How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at I literally came in here because I thought I could find some secret items. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Where am I going? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, that was Call of Cthulhu. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. Let me know if what your thoughts on the video so far in the comments. So anyway, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try to just get through this game and beat it and add it to my completed list. Because that would make me really happy. Anyway, good night, my Gremlin Gamers. Sweet dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single last one of you. If you want to support what I do, by the way, hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. But I also have a coffee channel where I actually post these videos um, early access for my coffee members. Um, link down below, all that good stuff. Anyway, good night, Gremlin Gamers. Sweet dreams. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.